Uh, okay, so this is from Nabarub Ganguly. Uh, and his question is uh, basically about understanding as to how did life evolve from non-living matter? Uh, essentially, what he's trying to understand is life and matter different because how can it evolve from something essentially non-living such as matter? I think that's the difference between having laws of nature that are perfect for sustaining life, as I mentioned, but we have, I have no idea, all the papers I've read on this subject do not present any logic, any reasonable approach how life could arise from non-living matter. That's, that's, that, 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 in that case, the, that, the quote by Wald, because it, 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 he's a biologist, is, so, is, is, I think, a very powerful statement, that mind would have to be present, a universal mind, the mind of a creator, in other words, that mind uh, imposes on this non-living matter life. You don't... What well, let's see, physically, I am sure, I, physically, eventually, I, could, I would guess that you could take the chemicals, put them together, and end up with something pulsing like a heart or whatever, and, and in other words, possibly make something. But to have it arise spontaneously from the matter that was, that is present in the universe, I do not think, we can't even say simplest forms of life, because there are no simple forms of life. All life is overwhelmingly correct. So I, I say, for me and for all that I've read, uh, I think who is a Feynman that said, anyone who tells you that he knows the origin of life is either naive or a liar. <laughs>